we're going to be doing a review on this Venom 5000mAh 30C2 cell lipo and also a review on this Patriot RC lipo guard bag. Alright guys, so first we're going to talk about the battery. We're just going to get right into it. So this is um, one of the first lipos I've had, one of the first that I've uh, had in an RC car besides the Bandit. Um, but uh, in my last video with the snow jump, it was my first time using this battery. And my first impressions of it were that it is pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, there is a lot more torque than the nickel metal hydride battery that comes with it. And um, also a ton of runtime. So I got the 5000 milliamp version. There's a 3000 and like 2200 version too. But um, this is the one that I got because I wanted a lot of runtime. And it gives me, on average, anywhere, if I'm running it like full out the whole time, 25 up to 40 minutes. So this thing lasts a ton of time. So um, that's a really big plus about um, this Venom battery. So I really do like that. A really solid plus about this Venom battery is that it comes with this adapter right here. So I use a Traxxas uh, charger, so I do that. But here's this adapter that you can put on. But it comes with this in this bag, and it comes with an, I think it's like EC3 or something, and also a Dean's adapter in there. So if you have a car that takes Dean's or EC3, then you can easily just slide it on here like this. So um, as you can see, you just take it like this, slide it on, and then you're done. So that is super nice about this Venom battery because it comes with the adapters. Okay, so now let's get into the negatives about this battery. So really there's a lot of things that I like about this battery, like a lot, a lot of things. So I'm going to start with like the little things first and then I'll get to the bigger things. So little one of the little things is this plug. It's the normal size with the three little uh, things in there. As you can see, uh, why won't you focus? Whatever. But... So that's the kind of annoying part, and when I try and plug it into the charger, after a few uses, it kind of just slides in, so it's not that big of a problem. But uh, you might want to use a screwdriver to push it in and take it out and stuff. Um, another um, minus about it is, um, of course, it is a lipo, so you have the risk of it catching on fire or exploding, you know? And uh, that's why we got this bag, just because uh, we don't want any of that to happen. But, so there's that about this, but otherwise, um, there's not really many other things. This is the hard case version, by the way, so the, there's that. So let's get into the bag now. So this is the Patriot RC LipoGuard bag. So as you can see, this is the size of my hand, I have small hands, but this is the bag. So if you don't know what these bags are, they're relatively new. Um, so you basically stick your LiPo in here. Um, and then if, let's say, you forgot to put it on storage charge or something, or you charged it to 100% and let it store like that, and then on the rare occasion that it did catch on fire or explode or something, if you had it in this bag, which is incredibly hard to open, but it's kind of good, if you had it in this bag, nothing would happen to it. So as you can see, there's not a ton of space. You might be able to fit two or three of this 2S LiPo, um, so there's that, so we can just put it in there. As you can see, it slides right in, you close it, and if you want to store your LiPos in here overnight or something, you can also make boxes for it and stuff, but, um, this was about $10, I believe, so there's that, and then the other, uh, Venom battery was, uh, 43, I think about, and like 45 plus tax. So, there's that. There's not really much to talk about on the bag. It has this safety warning that you can pause on. But, um, otherwise, I don't know, because I'm not going to test it, because I do not want anything bad to happen. But, it's pretty sturdy, and it feels pretty nice. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you found this video helpful with the battery and this bag. And I hope that I will see you guys next time. Bye!